afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, it's been a little while since our last vlog, so we thought we'd better have a little bit of a catch up for you all. We've um, we turned off of the um, Trent and Mersey Canal at uh, Fradley Junction and onto the Coventry Canal. We spent the first couple of nights uh, at a little village there called Aura was a lovely little village. It's quite a strange name, uh, but evidently they used to make baskets there, and um, the, the name is derived from the words Alder Wash. So they presumably washed the branches of the older trees in the River Trent and made their baskets. So just a little bit about all the was. It was a lovely village, yeah. It, 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 it really it was. It was a lovely yeah. village, lots of lovely buildings. And, um, Quite old. Mm. Um, so. We went for a walk there and we saw where the River Trent rejoined the... the yeah, um, there's uh, just just beyond the junction um, of the uh, Coventry at Bradley, there's um, a lock there that goes onto, for a very short stretch, the River Trent, uh, before it picks up on the Trent and Mersey Canal again. Um, nice little bit of the river. We did walk a little bit, but not very much. Mm. Uh, what were those people called that were all at the locks because they said it was famous for uh, spectators? That's at Fradley, Fradley Junction. Fradley Junction. Um, it's quite a, it's quite a, a well-known uh, junction, and uh, they get a lot of people there congregating around that point at the locks that just watch people do locking, and they are called gong goozers. They're a little bit like train spotters, lock spotters, but they're <laughs> lock spotters. Well, not lock spotters, but they're lock watchers. They watch people going for. Anyhow, we didn't really encounter any of those because we made we did two locks and then made a turn and they were kind of on the next one, so we, we got away with that. Um, not that I think we've had any problems really, have we? No, we're experts now, aren't we? No. Well, we're experts because we've just done 200. Yeah, um, Sue's obviously been keeping a log of, um, of the whole journey and so we've done 201, 201, locks, 201 locks so far on this trip. Um, it's quite good, <laughs> quite good. Uh, I have to say, I've probably done most of the locking and Sue's taken the boat um, through most of them, aren't we? Yeah. We're doing very well, very well. Uh, and it's okay. got a really good control of the boat now, so I'm really pleased about it. Because the locking is quite hard work, and we're actually quite surprised at how many women are doing the actual locking, and the men are just taking the easy way of navigating the boat in and out of the lock. Even when they can see that the women are struggling, and some of them, them are really struggling, and the men still just those stay a lot of those locks. The actual mechanism is quite stiff on a lot of them to actually get it moving and open the paddles. And the gates on some of them are also very heavy to move. And I just think it's outrageous that the men are standing on the back of the boat like that's the hard job and the women can't do possibly do that, but they'll let them struggle with a lot. So like, come on ladies, get on the helm. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. We've, um, yeah, we carried on um, down the Coventry Canal now to uh, through Faisley Junction and up into Tamworth. We spent a night up in Tamworth um, at the tail end of it. We um, did a very small shop then, which is just a little top up, and um, we then um, from Tamworth, we've um, we moved on through the next few villages. I think it was Polesworth and Atherston. Uh, we st stopped in Atherston. It was a nice little town. 
Was it just outside Hearts Hill or something? I think it was just outside, wasn't it? Because um, we no. stopped at Atherston no, and did some we laundry. we stopped at Atherston because they had a laundry there <laughs> and we did a little bit of shopping. And I like to use the laundry. <laughs> I like my clothes. <laughs> so, um, and I'll let you do my nails as well. I think you only had a pair of jeans in this time. Hannah. <laughs> she loves to hand wash. <laughs> okay. Right. So, yes, then we, 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 we did we didn't stay an overnight in Atherston. Um, we, we moved on to Hearts Hearts Hill. Hearts Hill. Um, it's okay, kind of a nice little ball in there. Is that where we went to the pub? Yes, because it's yeah, kind of a nice little pub. Very quiet. Um, just a few youngsters there celebrating their birthday. It was quite nice to watch them actually. They were having a good time. Um, when we spoke to a, a couple of the girls, they said that they'd known each other since school. And one of their friends was home on leave from, from the army. And it was his birthday. And they were celebrating with him at this pub. And it was quite nice to see. They were really, really nice, nice crowd. So that was cool. Um, and today we've uh, carried on and um, got ourselves down to. Uh, uh, where are we? <laughs> well, we're, we're on the Oxford Canal, but we've moved on down to Hawkesbury Junction where we turned onto the Oxford Canal and we've um, actually moored up at Anstey for an overnight here and we'll be moving on into rugby tomorrow um, where we may be able to do another big shot I think we might need to do a big shot to just take us a little bit further on but we're, we're doing pretty good really for um, meals well we're into a good routine now aren't we we sort of we're into a routine with the laundry and Tesco's and we manage yeah. to sort of yeah we're, sort we're, of we're managing pretty good now which is good um, another interesting little uh, fact is that um, Clarence has a logbook that I've inherited from the previous owners. Uh, Clarence is 29 years old now and um, the first two owners had Clarence for 10 years each and the interesting thing that we found from the logbook when I had a look at it the other night is that um, for most of those tw first 20 years, it's spent around Tixall, Great Haywood, and Stone on the Trent and Mersey to come out. That's obviously where it lived, where the owners lived. So it's been pretty much back to its roots. Mm -hmm. Clarence has been recognising where he's going. Yeah. We haven't. It's been no, first for us, but not at all. Clarence is quite familiar with this area. Yeah. So, uh, so there you have it. A uh, little bit of Clarence's history. Anyhow, um, it's um, if you like the video, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give us a thumbs down. <laughs> Don't really want to give us a thumbs down, but if you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. Uh, please do subscribe. It will um, get your notifications of when the next video is uploaded, and uh, you won't miss any that way. So uh, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from me. See you next time.